Hey homeowners, I hope you're having an inspiring day. Welcome to another episode of MF Project Spotlight. Thank you for watching last week's episode. We really appreciate your comments so much. If you're one of those who haven't seen it yet, we are going to be leaving the link somewhere in this video. Before we begin with today's episode, please support our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell below so you won't miss every time we have a new upload. I am so excited with today's episode. We are going to be talking about buffet cabinet and sideboard. Some people use the words buffet and sideboard interchangeably but in terms of their structure, there's a slight difference. Sideboards are usually with short legs and sometimes may also reach the floor. On the other hand, there is no major difference between a buffet and sideboard. But if the piece has relatively high legs, it may be referred to as a buffet instead of a sideboard. In terms of the function, buffet is widely known for laying out self-serve food in a manner that's easily accessible for guests and family during gatherings, while a sideboard can fit within areas of the home other than the dining room. Same with buffet, you can use it as a sideboard din naman. That's one of the many good things about the furniture. Just like summer clothing, it doesn't necessarily mean you can only wear them in the summer, right? So in this episode, you will be able to know the basics and the other styling of your buffet and sideboard. Ready? Let's begin. Let's start styling a buffet. First thing, consider its purpose. Are you going to use it in the dining room? Maybe display it in the living room? Here we are using the Vossel Buffet and Sonoma Brown and Brown combination and its primary materials are 15mm thick E2 grade particle board with laminated 3D paper veneer, 30mm thick top and bottom panel, and 18mm thick shelves. It has 50 by 50 by 25mm plastic legs, just like your normal buffet but with good amount of storage and you can save this for only 6,830 pesos. Don't forget your home card discount! Most of the time, and ideally, you place the buffet against the wall. And for you to start with decorating, it is best to place first a large piece of art above the buffet. From there, it will guide you in choosing the rest of the accessories needed on top of the buffet. It could be a large wall art, mirror, photo, wall clock, and whatnot. Let's use this decorative mirror. When decorating, do not overcrowd the space. Too much pieces of the decor will lose the sense of style and it's impractical as well. Grouping of three work really well. It gives balance and creates focal points. How much do you need though? Of course, yung sakto lang po. Remember you are hosting a party so leave space for your drinks and glasses or plates. Make sure to use accessories that are different in height or size to create depth. It make time to figure out which pieces would go best, but it's part of the process. Trust the process. Here are the final outcome, guys. Siyempre, huwag kalimutan ng dinnerware. Remember, balance style and functionality. Now, how about sideboard? Here's our earthen chest of drawers. Yes, you heard it right. We are using a chest of drawers, guys. Versatility. To make a longer sideboard, we lined up three pieces to have more space for decor pieces. Erden has this natural oak look that's super sexy to blend with other colors. It measures 80 by 40 by 91.5 centimeters and primary materials are 15 millimeters thick particle board laminated with amino paper veneer and 3 millimeter thick MDF backboard and 12 inches metal drawer slide. Now remember the basics. Consider its purpose in the living room. You'd mostly need decors or memorabilia, photo frames, collection, and whatnot. Creating a focal point. Here we are using the beautiful canvas wall art and it's nice that its size doesn't overpower our urban. Make sure that the wall is clean and the power of three. It is said that our brains love odd numbers and of items in odd numbers tend to look dynamic and more natural to us. Start picking accessories or decors that complement with your wall art. We have white, 
blue, shades of brown, and gold. Here we have another gorgeous chest of drawers looking hefty and solid. This is Harry in dark wood and its primary material is rubber wood and MDF board. It measures 900 by 460 by 1220 millimeters. Pretty tall so we don't need to recommend putting a mirror above unless you are blessed with height. Same tips guys, consider the purpose, create the focal point and layer accessories. You can always use other pieces of home decor in creating a focal point. Wall art though is just a mood setter. Alright guys, it's a wrap. Styling could be a daunting task but definitely fun to do. There are so many techniques that you can use, DIYs, hacks, blogs, and blogs. You just have to explore and give it a try. Okay, I hope you have learned from today's episode. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. That is it for today's episode. I hope you had fun. Also, we are now 120k in the family. Thank you for all of your support. We appreciate each one of you. Don't forget to follow us in our social media accounts. And if you like our content, please support our channel by subscribing. And don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you for joining me today. This is Chris Aspire in your home. See you in the next episode and stay healthy. This week's prize.